Now let's hear from the man who put the hood back in manhood, Dakey Dunn. Tonight, the last night of 1998, also marks the last night for Dake the Snake Tailhound Extraordinaire Dunn. Oh, yeah. See, when Mona, the girlfriend Mona, got on down to the switchboard down to the Women's Crisis Center, and boy, they kept her on the hop down there. She's wore out, you know, all the time. Practicing witchcraft, learning to become a dyke, or at least learning to look just like she's becoming a dyke. Home building altars to the goddess, you know. Don't get me wrong, I love a feminist. Every man hating, bra burning, ball breaking last one of them. I love them too much. That's my problem. Mona comes bursting into the cloakroom down to the Christmas party at the center, catching me allegedly copping a few feels off one of her sisters in the struggle. Well, she went up, she cracked. I endeavored to keep my manly composure while trying to explain as best I could how I was innocent enough standing in the cloakroom when suddenly there's Draylene, the young, the young research assistant, screaming something about insects or something crawling around her front. I mean, she was obviously in distress. What could I do but plunge my hands deep down the front of her blouse to try to get the little friggers off of her? And yes, yes, all right, I was lying on top of her when Mona bust in. But that was for one reason, and one reason only, in the dim hopes that the pressure of my body would squat any wily insect that managed to escape my hard-working hands. I know what you're saying. You're saying, Dake boy, why didn't you just ride into hell and try to dry hump the devil's assistant? I shouldn't have done it, I suppose, I know. Maybe there's something wrong with me, I don't know. I, uh, I suppose I always had what the Japanese refer to as a, a lower half problem. I'm not ashamed of that. I don't know what kind of shame filter you'd have to have on, you know, be able to stand up to Mona. Boy, she got me beat down. She will not get off it. I'm wore out. All right. Mona, I'm ashamed, all right? I'm ashamed of being a man, all right? I'm ashamed of those deep primordial urges and stirrings I feel on a daily basis. Jeez, I don't know what else I can do, Mona. It's not like I can threaten airstrikes to get you off my back. I got no ground forces I could deploy. All right, I'm going queer. Yes, you heard me, Mona. That is my plan. My resolution for the new millennium. A big, puffy, queer as pink ink resolution. Are you happy now, Mona? Will that shut you up? Yeah, happy new year. When tiny little bluebirds fly up. What are you looking at? Yeah, I'm practicing, all right. Was it to you? Writing a book? Leave that chapter out and call it a mystery.